Well, here we are, sports fans. Number four, the Turfinator. Up against number 13, Timber Skies. Emergency Fire and Rescue Patrol Unit. There they are there. Roger Party. Party all the time in Delay House. Well, folks, welcome to the first annual pandemic one more race. No other place in the world is providing such entertainment. And as the snowbirds fly over for the start of the race, the flag lady is ready to go. This is Roger Flag. The race will be on, and there we go. And they are off like a bunch of slow-moving turtles. Look at that, folks. Wow. That's incredible. Now, our video camera coverage is exceptional for today's race. We have a pickup truck cam, a drone cam, a lot of handheld cams out there, and cameras at the start and at the finish. So, if there is any cheating, our staff should be able to instantly find that and uh, punish the uh, one of the uh, competitors here today. Now, back to the race and a little history of both of the competitors. Number 13, Tim Scott. He's got a sweet ride out there today. Tim's on a Troy-built 30-inch lawnmower with a five-speed, high-performance transmission. And number four, the Turfinator, well, he's got a 71 Aaron's 21-inch fairway cutter. And next year, that mower turns 50 years old, ladies and gentlemen, and still racing on the lawnmower circuit, which is nice to see as they go by there. Um, now, um, I just want to point out that our sponsor today is STP Motor Oil Treatment. Now, what that is, is that's two equal parts of cherry whiskey mixed with vodka and orange juice and a little crushed ice. And that, my friends, just looks like STP Oil Treatment. So enjoy. Um, now, let's go back to the race. Boy, it's getting exciting now. Uh, Scott's got an early lead. However, Turfinator may have a little extra juice that he did tell anybody last night in qualifying so we'll watch for that and uh, they entered into apex here at turn number two they're neck and neck as you can see not quite but close enough the finish should be incredible as both are extremely competitive both scott 13 and turfinator number four have been fine-tuning these units for weeks now and uh, just to get the best out of the speed out of these and there's Tim Scott stretching like it's no problem out there, waving to the big crowd here along Barrisdale. And uh, as you can see, they're coming up to the uh, chicane, yes. Now, both now are preparing to the sprint to the finish after this chicane. And for those of you that are out of school right now, a little education here provided, a chicane is a curve in the road added by design rather than dictated by geography. So. There you go, folks. As we return to the race, I should point out the little guy on the bike in the green. He has one gear, and he seems to be doing much better than the rest. Look at this little guy come across the finish line, and you can hear the crowd. They're starting to cheer now as he comes across, and uh, it's going to be close. There's number 15, Scott, and number four, the Turfinator. They are neck and neck as they come across the finish line, and there it is. There it is, and as you can see in slow motion, it's by half a more length that the number four, the Turfinator, takes number 13, the Scott machine. So there you have it, folks. Thanks again for tuning in, and hopefully there won't be another pandemic lawnmower race. I'm Bob Ace, signing off from Barristale Drive.